G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, I was over at a friend's place yesterday, I went over to work some cows on Bundy and uh, when I got there the friend of mine said, oh I'm running a bit late this morning, I had to fix a broken water pipe and he said I didn't have the tools to fix the pipe and I didn't have the materials, the pipe materials I needed so I had to go somewhere to get tools and then I had to go somewhere else to get pipe and I had to go somewhere else to get the glue for the pipe and it just, I'm running a bit late so it took me quite a while to do it. And I said, so how long did it take you once you had all the stuff, how long did it take to fix the pipe? And he goes, oh, that was only a five minute job, but it just took me an hour and a half running around here and there getting, your, getting all the stuff together. And for me, uh, that's why I'm so adamant on getting all these parts working on your horses. You know, for me, all I'm really ever doing for a long time with horses is assembling my toolbox. I'm not actually trying to do anything with my toolbox, I'm just assembling my toolbox. I'm trying to get all the parts working because those are the tools I need to fix the problems that arise. And there's no use trying to fix a problem with, it, with no tools. You know, <laughs> if he's got a broken pipe and he doesn't have the tools to fix the pipe, he's just got to stand there and look at the water running out of there. So, um, you know, if you think about Bundy here, I've got lots of tools on him, okay? So I can move his, I can isolate his head from the rest of his body. That moves nice and softly right there. I can move his front end independent of his hind end in both directions. I can move his hind end independent of his front end in both directions. He goes forward well off both legs. Uh, what else does he do? He, he slows down well off my seat. He slows down well off both reins, uh, you know, he can, he can counter bend in both directions. I can counter bend there, I can counter bend around here. So that's a lot of shoulder control and rib control. He can, what else can Bundy do? Uh, he can back in circles, both circles with his nose on the outside, which is the easier of the two. So he can back in circles like that and he can back in circles. So with his nose on the outside, he can back both of those circles, but then the harder one is with your nose on the inside, with a bend to the inside of the circle. So he can, he can do that one there, and he can do the same one the other way. So he can back around a circle with his nose bent to the inside of the circle. And all this stuff probably needs a bit of cleaning up, which I'm gonna be working on, but he's got lots and lots of tools to fix things and so you know every time I have a problem with Bundy which I don't usually have a lot of problems for me I don't really have any problems with him it's just things he hasn't learnt yet but whereas a lot of times at clinics and stuff people have got a problem on their horse and they go oh, okay all you need to do to fix that is do this and they go oh but my horse can't do that bit oh okay well in order to, need to fix that we need to go do this oh my horse can't do that bit so you know, you spend a lot of time trying to go backwards to build a foundation so you can go forwards. And, and uh, I'm really big on not attempting anything the horse is not ready for. You know, I'm doing a TV show right now called The Principles of Training. And one of the, one of the uh, episodes is called They Need to Know the Answer Before You Ask the Question. Okay, uh, I'll give you a good example right here. Okay, so if my horse can move laterally off, so with a off my right leg there so he's bending around my right leg and he could move laterally that way off my right, left leg like that then I could probably use that to smooth out his downward transition so if I trot along here and in a downward transition right here he got a bit stiff I could put a little bend in his body with my right leg and make him do that as he slows down so I'm going to slow him down and make him bend over off my left leg and then I'll trot over here and I'll slow him down and make him bend over and off my right leg. And in order to do that, so my tool is being able to get him moved laterally off my leg, but I'm gonna slow down and move him off that leg and go again over here. And then I could slow him down and move him off that leg. And you see right here, he's starting to get a little bit softer doing already because as he slows down right here, he's ready to do either that little move right there or that little move right there and so someone said hey my horse when he slows down when I go you know when I do a trot to walk transition he's a bit stiff what should I do well just put your leg on him and move him over and off your leg as you slow down oh my horse doesn't get off my leg very good okay well then we can't fix your downward transition 
because we don't have a tool to fix it. So I'm really big on, on making sure, you know, all the way along, I'm not actually using the horse for a job. Okay, I'm not getting him to do what I want him to do yet. I'm working on his education. It's a lot like kids when they go to school. Okay, the kid is not in charge of a multi-million dollar company or he's not working for anybody when he goes to school. He's learning stuff he's gonna need when he does go to work. He's, using, he's learning all the tools he's gonna need when he does go to work. And I'm pretty adamant about doing that with these horses too. So, hope that gives you something to think about. We'll see you guys next time.